What's up, my beautiful people? This is Galactic Goddess Tarot, and today we will be doing messages from your person for the sign of Virgo. So, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and join our family. Also, if you would like, give this video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it, and it definitely helps out the channel a whole lot. Just keep in mind that I am reading for a collective, so this video may or may not resonate with you. If this video does not resonate with you, feel free to watch your moon and your rising sign. And also just keep in mind that not every single card may be your message, and that's okay as well. So if the card doesn't apply, we just let that shit fly. All right, my Virgos and Virgo cross watchers, I do have a white candle lit right in front of us. And before we go ahead and get your messages from your person, I am going to pull you guys a card from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck, okay? Let's get a message from Spirit for my Virgos. Spirit, please give me a message for Virgos. Spirit, please give me a message for Virgos. There we go. I knew it was coming. All right. We have Badger Spirit, number four. So maybe you've been seeing fours a lot. Maybe the number four means something to you. Um, you can even go on Google and search um, the meaning of angel number four and see what that says. Maybe that will resonate with you. But the message here is be fearless and bold. Virgo, that is pretty straightforward. And I feel like that doesn't even need this super deep explanation or anything like that. Um, but yeah, be fearless and be bold with anything in your life, okay? You have nothing to fear. And when you when you when you got your mindset on something or you want to do something, don't have any fear behind it. Trust spirit, trust that spirit has your back, because uh, trust and believe spirit does. Okay, spirit has your back and be bold about it. Put yourself out there, okay? If you've been having an idea about something or wanting to start something or wanting to create something or even just go on a new venture in life, you know, be bold about it. Do it. Just do it, Virgo. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get your messages from your person. Let's go ahead and split the deck. Whoa, Virgo. Whoa, that escalated pretty quick. First card is a lies. Virgo, somebody has been telling some lies. Virgo, and I hope it's not you. Okay. Because remember, you can, if you got to reverse the roles, then reverse them. But, who Virgo. Somebody has been telling some lies up in here, Virgo. But let's see what else the card's got to say. Spirit, please give me messages from Virgo's person. Spirit, please give me messages from Virgo's person. Whoa, okay. Huh. Next we have secrets. Ooh, Virgo. Somebody has some secrets. Somebody is lying and someone has secrets. <sighs> the energy just got very heavy. Whoa. All right. Let me grab the other half. Let's see what these got to say. Ooh, Virgo, who were you? Who have you been dealing with, Virgo? Who is the little liar, liar, pants on fire in your life? Whew. Okay, let's see what we got next. We have, I don't want to mess this up. All right, Virgo. So maybe in the past, okay? Maybe in the past, this person told lies and had a bunch of secrets, okay? But I feel like this current energy is, this is, I feel like this is the current energy that I don't want to mess this up. Maybe in the past, this person told a lot of lies and had a bunch of secrets and things like that. Maybe you found out, maybe you didn't, okay? Um, but this person wants to come back into this connection or, you know, continue this connection and not messing it up, okay? Even if, even if in the past there were secrets and lies, um, maybe you forgave this person, okay? Maybe you forgave this person and, and have been trying to move forward. Um, this person's energy right now is they don't want to mess this up, okay? They don't want, they don't want to lose you, Virgo. They don't want to mess it up. Let's see. We have, I've learned a lot from you. 
So Virgo, you have taught this person a lot, okay? This person has learned, a, has gained a lot of knowledge from you, okay? Whether it was just, you know, super, it could be super deep in depth. It could be simple, you know, this person has just overall learned a lot from you. Um, and that could be also why they don't want to mess this up because maybe you are this, maybe you are like the good genuine person in this person's life, okay? Maybe you are the person that has this person's back and here, you know, they're, you know, running around lying and telling and having secrets and stuff, okay? Let's see. Whew. We have, don't listen to what people say. So Virgo, maybe you're dealing with a connection with where maybe the family, maybe the family doesn't agree with this connection. Maybe friends don't agree with this connection. Uh, maybe um, other people have stuff to say about your person. Maybe your person, you know, maybe your person is known, well known where you're from or something like that. A lot of people know them or something. Um, but this person doesn't want you to listen to what other people have to say. They don't They don't want you to let the little bug up in your ear, you know? They want you to just, you know, block that stuff out. <laughs> they want you to block it out. They don't want you to listen to what people are saying. All right. Next, we have a spiritual awakening. So, Virgo, this could be you going through a spiritual awakening. Or it could also be your person going through a spiritual awakening. Um, somebody here is going through a spiritual awakening, though, okay? And this is confirmation of that. Even if you're not even, even if you're not sure, maybe, maybe you thought, maybe you had an inkling, maybe you were going through a spiritual awakening. Maybe you've been experiencing some wild things. Because I know when I went through my spiritual awakening, oh, it was wild. And it was a crazy ride, okay? <laughs> um... You know, and maybe you're wondering like, okay, well, why am I, why, why is this going on? Why am I feeling like this? Why am I experiencing these type of things? Because honey, you're going through a spiritual awakening. Okay. Spirit is coming into your life and opening your eye. And when we say I, we're talking about the third eye. Okay. Next we have, you're such a free spirit. I love that. Virgo, you are a free-spirited person in this person's life, okay? This person loves your energy. This person loves being around you. Um, I don't know why this person would be having lies and all these secrets and stuff. Maybe this person tried to hide, like, who they were to you or something like that. Um, you know, maybe this person just didn't want to lose you and didn't want to tell you the truth about something. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I went back to those first cards, but I, I felt like I had to. Um, but yeah, this person feels like you're, you're a free spirit. This person is attracted to your free spiritedness, Virgo. Okay. This person thinks you're, you know, you're like, it's always a ball when they're with you. Okay. <laughs> it's always good times when they're with you, Virgo. Next we have Aquarius. Ooh. So maybe you're dealing with the known Aquarius. If you're not sure, uh, maybe your person has Aquarius somewhere in their chart. Maybe you have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Um, you know, or maybe one of you guys could just simply be an Aquarius type of energy, okay? Um, if you're not sure about your chart or your person's chart, um, feel free to go just go check out the Aquarius video. Um, there could be some type of message in there for you or maybe some type of confirmation about what's going on here. Um, but yeah. When I think about you, I get in my feelings. Virgo, when this when this when you cross this person's mind, okay, um, they get emotional. They get in their feelings, you know. They get all in their chest, okay. This person, you know, I, I feel like this person does have feelings for you, Virgo. I feel like this person, you know, I don't know, Virgo. I really, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I, I, this, I, this reading isn't all sunshine and rainbows, okay. Um, this is definitely the head one of the heavier readings I've had this week, okay? Um, next we have, I want to be the reason you smile. Only thing that worries me, Virgo, is, is that we have lies and secrets. And we don't have, like, any cards that popped out that say, like, oh, I'm ready to tell you the truth. Or we don't have any type of I'm sorry's. And I got, a, you know, I got a couple cards like that in this deck. So for those, none of those cards to be popping out is kind of, kind of crazy. Um, that makes me feel like maybe you don't know you're being lied to. Virgo, maybe you don't know you're being lied to. Maybe you don't know about these secrets. Maybe you feel it. 
Okay, maybe that's what the spiritual awakening is about, Virgo. Maybe you're, maybe you are like your intuition is telling you that this person is lying, that this person has secrets, um, and you're not trusting your intuition because you're like, you know, you you're really not like, maybe you're not like super tapped in and tuned in and things like that. Okay, because if you're just now going through a spiritual awakening, you know, you wouldn't understand all those type of feelings and stuff like that. This is all new to you, so. Maybe your intuition is telling you that this person is lying and has secrets and you just, you know, you haven't got to the point where you figured it out yet. Your intuition is telling you, but you got to trust your intuition. And that's a message for somebody, okay? That may not even apply to all of you that are watching. I feel like that it may be for a particular person that is going to watch this. Um, but Virgo, back to this card. I want to be the reason you smile. Virgo, this person wants to be the reason that you have a smile on your face. Um, this person doesn't want other people to be the reason why you're smiling. This person wants to be the reason why you're smiling, Virgo. Let me pick this card up. Fell on the floor. We have intelligent. Ooh. So, Virgo, this person finds you to be very intelligent. But then again, it's in the same role as Aquarius. So, and you know, Aquarius is, um, are very intelligent people. Very, you know, deep thinkers and just... <sighs> I know me personally as an Aquarius, I hold a lot of like random facts and stuff like that. Like I'm like a, a mini Google, like literally. Um, so maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius and maybe your Aquarius is very intelligent. Um, even if they have Aquarius somewhere in their chart, um, even if you got Aquarius somewhere in your chart, maybe it is just simply your person finds you to just be a very intelligent person. And, um, you know, that intelligence is like sexy to them. It like, it, it, it almost like draws them in because you're just like this, you know, intelligent being. <laughs> All right. Next we have a sexual frustration. Somebody's experiencing some, some sexual frustration. Is it you, Virgo? Or is it your person? Maybe it's both of you. Especially if you two haven't been like, you know, intimate. <laughs> uh, but we got some sexual frustration here. Somebody is sexually frustrated. Um, it's getting to them. And it's crazy because as I'm doing this reading, I'm getting hot. Woo! Yeah, somebody is like hot and bothered. <laughs> All right, next we have, when I hear certain songs, I feel like you're talking to me. Virgo, maybe you're dealing with some type of some type of divine connection. It could be soulmate, it could be twin flame, it could be um, karmic, um, you know, all of those, okay? All the, all the divine connections, okay? Um, this person feels like when they're hearing certain songs, like it's you talking to them, like it's a message from you, so to speak. Okay, this person feels like they get in the car to, you know, turn their radio on or put on some music. And certain songs that are coming on, instantly you come to mind. It instantly is almost like you're sending a message to them and they're saying a message received. Okay, and you know, a lot of with these, um, with these divine connections, you know, telepathic communication and things like that is, you know, very real. It happens. It, it's true. Let's see what else we got. I really want to reach out to you. Virgo, this person wants to talk to you, okay? This person, um, they want to have a conversation with you. They want to talk to you. Even if you are, I feel like some of you guys may actually be in contact with this person. I don't feel like there's like no contact at all. For some of you, maybe there may be not, there may not be any type of contact, okay? Um, but I do have a feeling that some of you watching may actually still be in contact with this person. And I feel like this reach out card doesn't necessarily mean like reach out. I feel like this may just be like, um, have a conversation with you. Maybe this person wants to come clean about the lies and the secrets. Okay. Maybe this person's ready to tell you what's going on. Maybe you already know what's going on. Maybe you've confronted this person. Okay. Maybe you confronted this person about the lies and the secrets and now they want to reach out and they're ready to talk about it. All right. All right, here we go. I've been thinking about forever with you. Yeah, Virgo, if this person definitely did something in the past and um, now they're ready to talk about it, this person has like the future on their mind. This person knows if they don't make this right, Virgo, you could very much just walk away and be done with this connection and move on, okay? This person does not want you to move on. This person wants to work this out with you. This person, you know, 
they want to like in a sense make things right but I, i'm not gonna lie virgo like i'm kind of getting like a little you guys don't hate me for this okay but i'm getting kind of a little shady here okay i'm not gonna lie i i kind of there's something a little shady to, shady about this person and i don't care too much about i don't care too much for this 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 energy that they have like i feel like the cards that came out just yeah like this person didn't say sorry didn't have like you know like something i shouldn't even say shady maybe this person's like a little sketchy or something okay maybe something's about them a little off so you know virgo with that being said use your intuition with this okay i brought up intuition earlier use your intuition tap into your intuition get grounded okay you know tarot readers can't you know we can't tell you the future we can't tell you um you know we're not fortune tellers <laughs> you know all we can do is tell you what the cards say and um tap into spirit and get the messages from spirit for you guys um all you you really you know it's really up to you it's up to you i can't tell you to not take someone back or to take them back you know that's not my place you have to listen to your intuition guys okay um maybe some of you are going through that spiritual awakening so start working on tapping into your intuition trusting that gut feeling your intuition is that gut feeling you feel in the pit of your stomach okay trust that gut feeling just trust it okay um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it resonated with you. If it did and you haven't already, please subscribe and join our family. Also give this video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. And it definitely helps out the channel a whole lot. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And I will see you guys later. Bye.